Next one is Ozark Season 2. So, let's first talk about Ozark Season 1. When Season 1 started, it was a little on the slow side. It wasn't entirely original because it's full of crime story cliches, plot devices, and characters. But after like three or four episodes, I think Ozark really became something special. Yeah, it still had the unoriginality element of it, but it became really tense and exciting. And then I think by the end of the season, it was really, really good. There's an event at the end of the first season, which is... Alright, this is slight spoilers. It's similar to an event at the end of season one of Game of Thrones. So if you've seen that, you probably know what I'm on about. But basically something happens that basically says, right, from now on, anything can happen. And that's exactly where season two kicks off from. Anything can happen in this season. Which means that everything that happens in season two is full of tension. It's really moody and atmospheric. And at times there's just a lot of like uncomfortable elements of this show that's going on. You, The characters are really, really likeable. Particularly Jason Bateman and Laura Linney who brilliant in this. Jason Bateman got a Emmy nomination for the first season acting and directing. It's really well directed, great cinematography. Production wise it, it's top notch. But season two is significantly better than the first season. It is still a little on the slow side at times and I'm interested where season three is gonna go. But yeah, it does a great job of being a really moody, tense show with lots of twists and turns. It does a good job of introducing new problems in like natural and believable ways. There are some characters in there who are just so... I want to say juicy, but that's not a really good way to describe a character. But there's just characters who feel so real and who are both frustrating and annoying, but at the same time likeable. So it really does a good job of coming up with these characters. But yeah, really good season. If you haven't seen season one, go and see it. Stick with it for the first three episodes because you really do have to get through them episodes before it starts to kick in. N not to say that the first three or four episodes of season one are bad. They're just not on the same level as everything else. But yeah, now going into spoilers. Ozark season two. There's a new character in season two. Janet McTeer, I believe her name is. The, actor, the actress that is. And she's brilliant. If you've seen Jessica Jones season two, she's the mother in that. But yeah, she comes in as a lawyer for the cartel this season. And every scene she's in is just brilliant. She's a really good actress. And you get... She has this element of power and authority about her. Every time she's there, because she is a very tall woman, she has a demanding posture and she... She always seems in control of everything that's going around. She always seems intimidating, yet friendly at the same time. So really well done. And another thing, there's a character that is briefly in the first season, and that is a father of Ruth. He has a much bigger role this season, but you can totally see where his character's going. It's not that unpredictable. You can see exactly from when he comes in to where he ends that spoilers he's going to die there's also returning characters who come in every now and then it's much more of like recurring roles this season than the first one but yeah ozark season two i thoroughly recommend it one of my favorite shows of the year so far